We've all heard of liquid metal for cooling, but what actually is it, and is it a good replacement for our regular thermal pastes? Well, you see, liquid metal is an alloy of gallium, indium, and tin, and it's used a lot because of its higher heat conductivity than our regular silicon-based thermal pastes. But, well, you see, it really doesn't like aluminum, specifically the gallium part of it, and copper really likes absorbing gallium. And can you guess what the CPU IHS is made of? That's right, an alloy of copper and aluminum! Although there is a nickel plating, but you wouldn't have guessed that. So you see, as soon as the liquid metal touches the IHS of the CPU, the copper would immediately start absorbing the gallium, and the aluminum would immediately start disintegrating. Relatively slow, but still disintegrate. And since, well, liquid metal is a liquid, as CPUs in a desktop PC are usually mounted vertically, all that liquid could flow down, and if it touches any of your parts, then the computer could go kablooey! And I personally wouldn't want that in my computer. And there was also another thing, because it can flow all the way down, it minimizes the actual surface on the CPU. And that's also one of the reasons why PS5s kept shutting down. People kept having them stand vertically, where all the liquid metal would flow down, minimizing the actual cooling performance.